Halo guys, pertama kalinya hadir di Indonesia Pemenang Piala Dunia 2002 Pemenang Champions League 2007 Dan juga pemenang Ballon d'Or 2007 Pemain bola dari Brazil Ricardo Kaka Kita bakal ada special interview sama dia Saksikan langsung ya guys ya Kaka, huge pleasure, huge Thanks pleasure for this interview. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to Indonesia. Thank you very much for having me here. I mean, for me, this is extremely amazing because I used to choose you <laughs> as my player <laughs> in when I play the football games. So it's amazing that I can do this with you. Thank you for coming. Um, I heard you came yesterday. Have you tried any Indonesian food to start with? Yes, I did it. So I did it yesterday night and I also tried today. So I really want to try the food when I go to the different places because I think the food is part of the culture of the country. It is. And says a lot of, about the people. So I love to try the local food. And you tried the satay, right? The chicken on the stick? The, the chicken on you the like stick. you like it? I love it. It's amazing. He loves satay, guys. Um, With peanuts. Yes, uh, yes. Also. Oh, he had the whole satay experience. <laughs> That's very, very nice. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming. Um, as you can see, right, Indonesians are very passionate about football. I mean, I heard when you came at the airport yesterday, there were Milanistis waiting for you. How do you see this passion of football in Indonesia? Well, it was really, really nice to have this this great experience here with the Indonesian supporters. I my last game with uh, in football was in 2017, so it's already five years that I I stopped playing. And when I arrived there, it it seems that I I, I came for a football match. So to mm. see all that supporters wow. singing my song when I was playing for Milan. So Sam Venuti Finqua, Sam Venuti They were singing it here. Permedere right? Signare Cacca. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really, really amazing, really nice. So thank you very much, guys, for the, the caring, for the love. It's a great experience for me. I mean, you were such an amazing player. <laughs> thank you. And that passion, right, it's, it starts from youth as well. So a lot of young Indonesian people, right, they want to become footballers. What's your advice for these young kids? So it's really nice. I love football, so uh, football is part of my life. So helping me to build my character as well. And so I love when the young guys, they want to be a football players. I know there is a lot of challenge mm. to, to become a football player, but it's, uh, it's part of life. If you want or if you dream for something, you just need to go for it. So miracle just don't happen. You, mm. you, you, you can- You have to practice. You have to practice. You have to go for it. You have to, to make it happen. So. My advice for the kids, it's go for the challenge. And if you dream for something and if you really like and love doing something, go for it. What, what age did you start football? I started when I was eight years old. Wow. Okay, and I've seen, I've seen like all your highlights, right? You are such a good ball handler. You're such a good <laughs> passer. You can score and you are fast. You are all of that. For the young kids, right? I know they all want to score goals, score goals, score goals. What do you think is a very important skill to have in football? Because you can do like all of them. What should they practice? Well, I think passing is one of the, the most important and also control. Of course, you, mm. want, you, you need to shoot and you need to improve your header or free kicks or something like that. But for me, control and passing is the fundamental of football. So if you cannot control the ball in a good way, and if you're not passing the, the if, if you don't have a good passing, I think there is a problem. So if you have to practice something, control and passing. 
I should have done more of that. <laughs> I was too much focused on goal scoring. And goal scoring, yeah. shooting, and. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but what about the system? Do you think, from like the grassroots, from a very young age, there should be a good football system from very young, like tournaments yeah. and everything. That's really important because, uh, in my opinion, you just grow if you have a very good competitors. So when you are competing, you can increase. So not because I want to be better than him, but he's helping me to, to getting better. So it's for me, in my opinion, it's really important to have this, this environment, this atmosphere around the grasshood, the youth teams. So the very good competitiveness, so they can grow up, they can build their uh, skills. And for me, it's really important to have the, the youth uh, academies and clubs playing with a uh, young generation. I want to speak about what you're doing now. You are the global brand ambassador. What message are you trying to send to the people? Well, I, I witnessed a lot of miracles in my, in my life on and off the pitch. Really? Oh, wow. So it's for me, it's, this is the message right now. It's uh, that miracles you just don't happen. You need to, to make it happen. So for me, this is the, the message right now because it, it is possible. If, if you dream and if you fight for something, it's really possible to, to make it. Speaking about miracles, you've, you've done many great things in your career. Many great things. In, how did football help you grow? In, in a lot of uh, ways because uh, the values that I, f I find in football, it's a very good values to take to my life. Of course, there are uh, bad things ar uh, also around football, but the, the most important values, the good values, it's uh, helping me a lot to grow in, in my life, in my career, professional career, personal life. So football, it's, a, it's part of my life. Most memorable moment most memorable moment. Is it the Champions yeah. League? Is it the World Cup in the beginning? Right? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I would say both the World Cup and Champions League because Champions League, when, when you hold the Champions League and you say, I did it, it's something magical. And it's, it's the same for the World Cup. When I lifted up the World Cup with Brazil in 2002, for me, it was a, a dream come true. So, uh, but I think that this is the two biggest uh, championship, one for our national team and one for our clubs. So I've been, I, as I said, I witnessed a lot of miracles and th those two, it's uh, two miracles that I had in my, in my life, in my career. Especially after the 2005? Especially, Especially after, 2005 after 2005 against the same team. And yeah, it's, it's incredible because in 2005, we lost the, one of the um, best Champions League finals. We were winning for, uh, Three new? I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. <laughs> me neither. Imagine <laughs> for me. Yeah. But two years later, we had the opportunity to play against Liverpool again, and we beat them, and it was really amazing. The whole story—it's really, really amazing. So I'm very happy that we had an opportunity to to be back and to lift the World Cup, the Champions, the Champions League. League. And speaking of another miracle, that year you won the Ballon d'Or. It's another miracle. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> It's crazy. I mean, it's such a miracle. Um, not many footballers have it. You have one. Yeah, it's, it's as I said, it's, it's a miracle because I, I never thought that I, I, I could achieve that. So for me, when I was young, my dream it was to be a football professional player for Sao Paulo and play once with the Brazil national team. For me, that, that was my dream. And then, of course, my target started to, to grow. To go higher. To go, go higher, higher right? And, yeah. higher. and in 2007, I, 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 I saw, oh, maybe I can achieve also the, the, the Ballon d'Or and Player of the Year. And it happened. So, miracle just don't happen. You have to, <laughs> to make it happen. And I, I tried. I, of course, I sacrificed myself. I, I was very professional, disciplined, and of course, with a very good spirit of team, we, we won the Champions League, we won the um, European Super League, we, we won the, the World Cup for clubs. 
And then I've been also blessed with the Ballon d'Or. You know, technology is used in football, right? Yeah, a lot. Back in your days, did they use it a lot or? Not so much. Today, there are more technology around, the, around football. What do you think about VAR? <laughs> I think it's nice. I think, you think it's, it's nice? nice. Yeah, I think it makes the the game more the, a fair game. So okay. I think it's it's important, and I think it's it's a very young gen, uh, technology. So we need to improve. We need to to wait. We need to as a supporter, we need to have patience to see that kind of technology improving. But I, I think it's it's fair. I think it's nice. Do you think there can be more technology in football or? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever talked to your friends, anyone? Yeah, I think in future we are going to see a lot of technology. We already seen a lot of technology in football and we see now more of with data and infos about football and how they move on the field, yeah, yeah, passing yeah. The, the quality of the, the, the players, the stats and a lot of things around that. And so I think technology is coming to help players, clubs, Association, supporters, and everything, and I think it's it's good. I love technology. Yeah, you, you've you, you've had a great career. No. I mean, it's, it's all good. Let's not no, go back it was to that. Good, yeah. Kaka, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank I you. hope everyone um, learn from the miracles that have happened in your life, and I really hope that everyone can also get some miracles in their life. Perfect. And thank you very much, Indonesians, for the supporter, for the caring, for the love. It was amazing my, my time here. Thank you very much. <laughs>